hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is me showing you how to make tikka masala okay so i've got all the ingredients on in here and um i've also got it on my channel which is the ahp collective and it's also on my TikTok page, which is AHP Collective 12. So, um, so yeah, you can see exactly what the ingredients are. However, I'll show you quite a few. There is nutmeg, which I need to crack open. There is cinnamon sticks. Then there's cardamom pod. There's um turmeric root there's black pepper there's coriander seeds in there there is cumin seeds there is mustard seeds okay there's quite a few so i'm going to put all the ingredients into my blender and i need to crack this open The shell is also spice. Okay. So you don't need to throw it. And then you've got the inner part of the nutmeg. Which I need to crack as well. Do bear with me. I'll be back. So I need to crush this. The reason why I'm cracking this before I put it into the blender is so that it would not give my blender a hard, hard job to do. So it's crushed it. Okay, so if you don't want your blender to do a hard job, um, then you crack some of your your really hard um, spices. Right now, this is Cookworks blender, which has got a two pulse power um, speed. The first one does a really quick job and then the second one does even a quicker job and makes it more fine okay so basically with this um spice i would not need to blend it okay so i'll start off with one <laughs> Is blended quite a bit okay 
Now I'm gonna put it on the second spade. My hands are clean, so you can see how fine it is. So I don't need to blend it. I, I don't need to blend it anymore, and you can smell the spice already coming through. That's how it looks like. Now you can use either a blender or a mortar and pestle to blend your spices and if you're if you're bl blending a really big bulk then and you have a milling station near you then you can take it to the milling station for it to be done for you but if you're doing a big bulk at home then you'd have to do a little bit at a time in your blender or in your food processor or in your mortar and pestle okay so i'm going to put it back into my container Okay, I'm going to have to use a funnel so that it doesn't pour all over the place. Sit. and you need to keep your spices in a cool dry place please do not put your hand in your blender or in your food processor because it's so sharp it will cut you That's why I use a fork to get the residue of my spice.
Then there you go. And this keeps for six to 12 months when stored properly. So you can just put it in your pantry. And that's it, there you have it. That's it guys, I shall see you in the next video. Bye.